Hello, today we are going to discuss some JavaScript event handler concepts. For this, you should know some basics of HTML and JavaScript. Our course objective is student would learn about what events are, how they work, and how they are triggered in JavaScript. Student would learn how to register event listener on HTML element using the add event listener methods or functions. Student will also know how to write event handler functions that respond to a specific events. Now, event handlers. What event handlers and how these event handlers works. JavaScript Event handlers are functions that are used to respond to events that occur on a web pages such as a user click on a button or scrolling the page. These events can be triggered by user interactions or by other actions such as a page finishing or loading. JavaScript event handlers are used to create interactive and dynamic user interfaces, allowing web developer to create a variety of features that respond to the user action. For example, an event handlers can be used to display a pop-up message when a user click on a button or change the content of a page based on the user input. JavaScript event handlers are an important part of web development as they allow developer to create engaging and responsive user interfaces that improve the user experience. They are used extensively in modern web applications and are an essential skills for an any web developer. Before going to discuss some other concept, first of all, we should know about what events actually. If you have a mouse over a text or clicking a button or selecting a text, or input something in the text box you minimize or maximize the window whatever action you have taken on back pages then JavaScript detected it actually browser has a JavaScript interpreter who detected that what you have taken at any type of actions these actions called events now, in this section, we are discussing events, HTML elements, and JavaScript. Actually, event occurs when you are binding events with HTML elements and call a JavaScript functions. Here is an example. Suppose this is a web page and we have a paragraph there and whenever we hover the mouse over the paragraph then the color of the text change white to green. If I want that kind of uh, changes or event then we are using mouse over event and <clears throat> this event is applicable on paragraph element which is the HTML element which is which we have used paragraph event and and that paragraph 
event we call on mouse over attribute this attribute call a javascript functions in which we write some javascript code in which we change that background color or text color of this paragraph now the binding of events with html elements and javascript it is called event now as you know about the functions to do event handling we will bind the functions with event means whenever we if whenever event happen automatically function associated with the particular event is will be fired or executed again first of all you should know which event you want on this web page it may be paragraph hovering or button event or page loading image loading and second one on which html element will be associated with particular event and third one what you want to do at that particular event then the javascript associated with this particular html element we have bind all three things together and form a event now html events html events are built in events that occur when certain action are performed on html element which we have already discussed in the previous slide such as a user clicking on a button hovering over an element with the mouse or submitting a form these event can be used triggered specific action or function some common html events are here is some common html events one is on click event this type of event occur when an element is clicked means if you have a and you have an element on a web page like a button and whenever you click on the particular button then the associated functions javascript functions called and or fired same as on click there is one more attribute of html event element event is uh, double click on double click whenever we double click on particular element then this function will be fired or event will be fired same as on mouse over as we discussed previous in the previous section on mouse over occur when the mouse pointer is moved over an element means whenever this mouse pointer moved over this particular element then whatever action you want at that point it will be fired same as on mouse out occur when the mouse pointer is moved away from the element on load occurs when a web page or image is finished loading all these events we will discuss in in future slides with an example next one is on submit on submit occurs when the form is submitted suppose uh, you have a web page a web page in which you want some information suppose there is a student information form and uh, you have to fill all the information regarding your uh, and then submit whatever you enter in the or in the web page it will submitted after submitting this button all the information sent to the main server on reset on reset occur when a form is reset 
same as if you enter the information all information and you find that something is wrong in something information you have entered is wrong then you res reset the button then the all inform wrong information or all information is in default page same as on change on change occur when the value of an input element is changed suppose in a web page there is a text box and you want to enter something but something whatever you enter in the text box it will at that time on change event will be fired on focus occur when an element receive a focus html event are using html attribute such as on click on mouse over on submit which can be added to the html element that need to trigger the events for example this is an element of button element and attribute of button element is on click on this on click attribute we call a function alert function same as in the next input type is equal to text and on this input type on change is an attribute and this attribute or event called alert function same as in form submit on submit is an attribute of form element and this attribute called alert function whenever you submit the form then this alert function executed or called these html attribute contain javascript code that will be executed when the event occur means whenever we click on a particular button then this attribute on click fired and called alert function or on change or on submit same as these html attribute contain a javascript code that will be executed when the event occur while the html events are convenient for handling simple interaction more complex interactions typically required the use of javascript event listener now in the future lecture we will discuss or explain one by one all the elements and its related events or attribute now thank you that's it for today